What's good, y'all, man? It's Cam bringing y'all another video, man. Straight like that, dawg. Let's get into it. Leave a comment down below what you want to see in the next video, bro. Like and subscribe if you're new. And let's get it, bro. We on Demon Time and as usual. So, look. How to stop being a beta male. Listen, dog. I'm going to keep it all the way real. I used to be the biggest beta male. Like, put an S on my chest. I'm talking about I'm super beta. Super beta. Like, no cap. So, my transformation from beta to alpha was a long, long journey. And I'm here to tell y'all that it is 100% worth it to get rid of that beta male mentality, bruh. Okay? It's worth it to become an alpha male. Okay? Because society today doesn't want you to become alpha. They want you to stay in that beta mindset, bruh. Now, let's talk about why society don't like alpha males. Because that's very important. The reason that society doesn't like alpha males is because we figured it out. We figured out the key to life. Not just to women, but to life. But see, the answer to, uh, to, to life, the key to life, is not one that a lot of people want to hear. Because the key to being an alpha male is putting in the work, right? You have to reap what you sow. You put in what you, whatever you get out is uh, uh, a reflective of what you put in. If you play basketball and you ain't never put in no work, if you never put up no shots, how you expect to make three-pointers in the game? How? You might make a couple and get lucky. But if you really, really want to make them three-pointers, then you're going to have to put the work in. Same thing with life. In life, if you want to succeed, then you better put the work in right now. Just like, look, look at me. I'm putting the work in on this YouTube, trying to blow up, trying to get that 100K subscribers. I'm putting in the work, posting every day without fail. Y'all see me on here, bro. You see the notification pop up. You clicked on the video. You read what you sow, and that's the answer to becoming beta, bro. That's what it all surrounds around. That, 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 that's the point of becoming an alpha male, I mean. Okay, because you work on yourself to the point where now you become, you know, you know what I mean? You work on yourself to the point where you become successful in your own right. That's what it's all about. Putting in that work, sticking to the grind, not having no days off. Every day we grind for what we want. But see, society likes instant gratification. So they don't like that answer. You know, they want things instantly. Instantly. Why do, why do you think, why do you think... Watching, uh, uh, um, um, you know, P Hub is so normalized because dudes want that instant gratification. They don't want to work for it. They just want to right now, right now, right now. That's beta male mentality because you you know that you you know you need to put the work in. See, the reason a lot of dudes don't become alpha males is not because they don't think that it's the right way to go. Not because they don't know about it. It's because they're too lazy. It's because they don't want to do it. You got to get to the point in your life where you say you want to improve. Because let me tell you something right now. If you're a beta male, if you're a youngin' right now, college, high school, or maybe you just graduated college or whatever. If you're a youngin', bro, under 30, and you still got a beta male mindset, it's going to be a rough road for you, buddy. You're going to be average at best. You will never be successful with a beta mindset. Ever, ever, ever. So get that out your mind, bro. Please don't think that you could be beta and be successful in the world. Because let me tell you something, bro. I'm talking to y'all about women and stuff, but... <laughs> A lot of y'all ain't even experienced the real world yet. You ain't had to pay no bills yet. You ain't had to. Uh, 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 you ain't had to do nothing yet. You ain't had to pay for nothing yet. So when you get in the real world, not only is that on top of you, but now people don't care about you. This ain't high school. This ain't college. You ain't got your homies around you constantly, bro. You dealing with the real world. Nobody cares about you. Your boss, he don't care that you had something going on and you was two minutes late. You fired. You late. No one cares. That's why you can't be beta. You have to understand that you have to put the work in. Because being beta in the real world is going to get you cut. Cut. You're going to be on the side of the road asking for spare change. I promise you that. Or like I said, average at best. If you make something work, average at best. You want to be average? You want to work a 9 to 5 office job and barely make a barely make a living? Living sad, you eating ramen noodles every day. Is that what you want to do? Live average? No, we don't want that. Over here, we only deal with successful. We we, 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 we want to be successful over here. So we be, we develop an alpha mindset. All right, so look, now I already done went into depth on why they don't like alphas because people don't want to put well work in, okay? So now, how do we, what, what is a beta male? What is a beta male? Okay, the three key traits of a beta male is this. Feminine traits, uh, meaning like emotional, all that. I'm going to get into depth on that, okay? Women is their priority, okay? And number three, and scarcity mindset. Scarcity mindset. Okay, now let's go in on number one, okay? Feminine traits. A lot of y'all, look, masculinity is so frowned upon. 
Okay, I'm not even talking about no toxic masculinity, nothing like that. I'm talking about masculinity in general. Men ain't even men no more, bruh. Don't nobody want to be manly no more. Nobody want to be manly no more. Y'all want to run around and look, 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 look. I'm going to be honest with y'all. Y'all want to run around and paint your nails and put makeup on and look like Playboy Cardi and pose like this. Y'all want to, y'all, y'all want to look feminine. Y'all want to look feminine. Now I understand there's, 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 there's fashion. There's fashion. I understand that. But there's, there's, there's levels to this, bruh. There's fashion and then there's over the top. And we get into the point where it's over the top. We get into that point now. Because I'm talking about straight dudes is out here doing feminine things, embodying feminine traits. You know, when I post these polls on my Instagram, go follow me, by the way, if you haven't already. But look, when I post these polls on my Instagram stories talking about, you know, should you be friends with your ex? Is emotion a feminine trait? So, you know, a, a, a lot of y'all vote. Y'all, a lot of y'all is in your right mind. Y'all know how to vote, but some of them are on the other side. So when I say is emotion a feminine trait, they say no. Because that's a beta mentality. That's what betas do. They see emotion as something that you should delve into because, you know, society, which is now being run by Twitter and cancel culture, okay, is telling you, oh, it's okay to, you know what I mean? It's okay to act on your emotions because it's about how you feel. It's not about how you feel, bro. The world don't care how you feel. Because let me tell you something, bro. You can feel how you want to feel, but at the end of the day, bro, reality going to hit you. Reality going to hit you. So you can be in your emotions if you want to. You can be emotional and act emotionally if you want to. I guarantee ain't nobody going to care. I guarantee you won't be successful that way. Because let me tell you something. If you want to get to the top and you emotional about stuff, let me give you the harsh truth. It's going to be rough. Even me. Bro, I only got 2,000 subscribers. You know how much hate I done got? You know how much hate I done got? You know how heartless I had to be to look? Bro, I literally done got, bro, I'm talking about death threats. I'm talking about some, some real deep stuff. Real deep stuff. People really hurt coming for me. You think I had to care? You think I cared? You think I was emotional enough to, oh, I don't want to do this no more? Nah, bro, you got to be heartless in this world. You have to be. You have to be. To be a man, you have to be heartless. Women got it easier. You're not a woman, bro. Let's be, I see the demographic. 99% of y'all is dudes. You're not a woman, bro. You're not going to have stuff handed to you. Stop embodying that feminine trait. Stop embodying those feminine traits, bro. Get some masculinity about you. Become a man, bro. Get manly. Tia. Stop letting things happen to you. Stop trying to stop trying to be all feminine and all this other stuff. Bro, get manly. Dress manly. Look manly. Smell manly. And that don't mean that you got to be oh, 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 the biggest dude in the world. But, bro, you are a man. Be natural. Be you. Be who's really you. Don't be what society wants you to be. Number one. Number two. Okay. Beta males have women as their priority. Women should never be the priority. Women are not the prize. What you should be chasing is the bag. And what I mean by the bag is this, because not all people see money as, uh, 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 as, the, as the best thing in the world. The bag is your success. The bag is whatever your goals are. What are your goals? Let me give you an example, bro. My girl, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, she was gonna, about to go hang out with her family this weekend. You know what I mean? And she invited me to stay at this house that they had. You feel me? But I had a, I got a whole lot of stuff to do this weekend, though. I got to work out. I got to make these videos for y'all. I I can't make videos over there. I got to I gotta do a whole lot of stuff this weekend. I'm super busy. So I had to tell her no. Because why? I care about my passion and my life goals more than I do women. And that's how y'all have to be. A beta male, a beta male in that situation would go hang out with their girlfriend. Even though knowing dang well that they have a whole lot of stuff that they need to get done before Sunday. But they would go hang out with their girlfriend because, oh, you know, because I because I love her. Bro, stop making women your priority. Stop. It don't matter that much. See, all the game I give y'all about Snapchat game, when to respond, all this other stuff, bro. It's just that. It's a game. It's game. It's game. But game, see, it's a time for work and it's a time for play. That is when you, that game is for when you got the time to play game. But if you want to be an alpha male, you ain't got the time, bro. That's not even your priority. If you got stuff going on in your life, goals that you're trying to reach, that should come secondary. Primarily, you should put you first. You want to talk to females, bro, you have no money in your wallet. You want to talk to females and you scrawny, you 120 pounds soaking wet. But you over here wanting to get the, the baddest females. 
thinking that Snapchat game is going to help you. Bro, it's not going to help you unless you level up in life. I'm telling y'all, man. Y'all got to listen to me. Now, number three, the third beta male trait is that scarcity mindset. Scarcity mindset doesn't just apply to women. It does apply to women because, like I said, you feel me? That 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 one that 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 oh she's the one mentality is is dead, bro. It's dead. It's over. Stop it. There's so many other women out there, bro. That's better, like her or better. So let's get that scarcity mindset bull out the way. But even in life, dog. Even in life, you know what I mean. A lot of people have it in their mind that, that, that see because that scarcity mindset runs deep. It runs deep. Think about all the people who who maybe didn't have the best upbringing. By, by, by best upbringing, I mean they, they, they didn't have much when they were growing up. Think about all the people who are beta males and scarcity mindset in that position. That means that scarcity mindset is leading them right back to where they were. If the people in poverty with a scarcity beta male mindset is going right back to poverty. You know why? You know why? Because they got scarcity mindset. So that means in their head, they think, oh, well, you know what I mean? I'm just going to go ahead and cash this welfare check just like the rest of my family. I ain't going to strive to do better. I ain't going to strive to do better. You know what I'm saying? They got a one-track mind. But... The alpha male with an abundant mindset realizes all the opportunities he has ahead of him. And he knows it's not going to be easy, but he knows that anything is better than poverty. So the alpha male knows that an abundant mindset is key for every bro in business in business and in investing, investing. You want to diversify your stocks, right? You don't want to just put all your eggs in one basket. That's scarcity mindset. You ain't going to get nowhere doing that. You diversify your portfolio. Shout out to Hendo Marketing. Diversify your portfolio, dog. In life, not just with women, but in life. Hope y'all try. I, I really hope y'all finally get it, bro. Because those three traits, if you embody those three traits, you are a beta male. You are a beta male. I don't care what what you say. You are a beta male, and it's not. There's no in between, bro. You alpha or you beta. You need to choose. You choose now. Who do you want to be? What do you want to be? Do you want to be up here or do you want to be down here? Make your decision, bro. Because guess what? Life is going to go on and people ain't going to care either way. Make your decision, dog. Love you and I'm out of here. Peace.